Hello everyone, this is Yaya Bu from TRI Learn Chinese. So today you can see I have a guest. So this is my friend Crystal. Hi hey, everyone. Hi. Yeah. So today we are going to learn some Chinese calligraphy and how to write it. What about all the brushes we're going to use? So this this is basically a lesson for me. And thank you so much, Crystal, for coming. Thank you for your invitation. Are you a beginner of Chinese calligraphy? Oh yeah, more than a beginner. Just so uh, like know nothing about <laughs> Chinese really? calligraphy. Really, a white yeah. paper. Oh yeah, white okay. paper, very white. Um, so that is why today we're going to learn how to write Chinese calligraphy. At the same time, a lot of my foreign uh, audiences they have already asked us how to write Chinese characters. So I think Chinese calligraphy could be a start lesson. It can be very interesting. And talking about Chinese calligraphy, Crystal. Actually, I've seen. Um, some pictures on the media headlines, mm -hmm. which was shot overseas. Um, somebody's yeah, they body. have. What is that about? They have the tattoo of Chinese char characters. Oh, really? Cal Chinese calligraphy on their body. Uh, do we know them? Of course. Who are they? The most famous one is David Beckham. Oh, Beckham yes. family, huh? So, uh, what is the tattoo about? We can first take a look at uh, his tattoo picture. Okay. 我们先来看一下 Okay. So you can see the Chinese calligraphy um, on his left hand, uh, uh, left side yeah, body. Yeah, on the waist. Uh -huh. Yes. And it says, uh, actually, right I have here, you uh, already prepared it. Yeah. Okay. 生死有命。Oh, but this character is different from the one on, on his body, uh -huh. but uh, they are of different styles, but this is the character, regular characters we can see. Mm -hmm. um, so what does mm -hmm. it mean? Sheng means life, uh -huh. si means death, uh, and you mean. Mean. Uh, means, you all means have, the fate. yes, mm -hmm. fate, and fu gui, fu means Fortune uh -huh. and Gui means wealth. Zai mm Tian -hmm. means your fate decides everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both life and death, um, and your fortune, whether you're wealthy or not. So it's all decided by fate. So Beckham, that's how he's so famous. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, when I look at uh -huh. when I look at these words, I will I will think that uh, he will try to he will try his best to have a better career, but uh -huh. um, whether uh, he succeed, succeed or not, he will accept it and be thankful. Ah. I will see it this way. That is very positive mm -hmm. thinking. And um, so what about other tattoos? Uh, what about the one on the former NBA star, Iverson? Oh, Iverson, mm -hmm. my mom's idol. Okay. Really? Yeah. And he has this character on uh -huh. his body. Just on his neck. Ah, mm -hmm. What does it mean? Zhong uh -huh. means loyalty. Loyalty. And uh -huh. He's a good uh, NBA player, basketball player. So uh -huh. he's loyalty to his um, enthusiastic, uh -huh. uh, he, in, his enthusiasm uh -huh. toward basketball career. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I will think it is we this also way. We have a picture of that, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. We also have a picture of that, right? Mm-hmm. We also have a picture of that, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. 照片是刚好看到他的脖子上有一个中字,有一个中字,loyalty. And we have another one. Oh, which one is that? Just uh, uh, the tattoo mm -hmm. from a Bulgarian wrestler. Mm -hmm. And she has this character oh. on, his, on her leg. Do we have a picture? Yes, we also have a picture of that. We also have a picture of the Bulgarian wrestler. She has a picture of the Bulgarian Love. Love. Uh -huh. All right. So mm -hmm. those are the characters. Even some foreign celebrities with tattooed on their body. Mm -hmm. so that is very interesting. Do you know why would they choose this kind of Chinese calligraphy or characters uh, as the symbol to tattoo on their body? Why I they think do that? Chinese calligraphy is has been regarded as an artful writing worldwide. Mm -hmm. It is famous, mm -hmm. and um, it it is a kind of art. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, they like this art, mm -hmm. like Chinese calligraphy, mm -hmm. and like the meaning of this uh, Chinese characters. Uh. Oh, I even have a, you know, another one of the tattoo. Uh -huh. Which it is said, yes, uh -huh. I will write it down. And the first one is 
two persons. Mm -hmm. That means follow. Follow. And the other one is xin. That means heart. Actually, this is one character, one mm -hmm. Chinese character. What does it mean? But someone will have this tattoo on his or her body. Uh -huh. Do you think it's a better one? We can ask these questions to our mm -hmm. viewers. Mm -hmm. If you have this kind of tattoo of Chinese characters oh, on your body, I would will not. you think it out? <laughs> I would not. So guess what's mm -hmm. the meaning of this character if you have a tattoo on your body as this? So uh, the pronunciation of this word is song. Song. Oh, song. That is mm, a unique word. That is. That is very unique, unique uh -huh. and we'll explain this word later. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's save it for later. Um, so if you just tuned in, this is Yoyo together with my friend Crystal. Today we're going to learn something about Chinese calligraphy, which is a very nice artful writing in China. We'll talk about everything related to uh, calligraphy. At the same time, we'll answer questions mm -hmm. online as well. And if you're interested in today's live stream, feel free to leave a comment on Facebook, YouTube, and Weibo. So thank you so much for joining in. And our next section would be, um, so... When we talk about Chinese mm -hmm. calligraphy, the basic question would be, what is the Chinese what calligraphy? What is, yes, is we are going to answer this question. Mm -hmm. What is Chinese calligraphy? Yep. So Chinese cal calligraphy can be a kind of um, ancient work written mm -hmm. by the ancient people. Mm -hmm. And now it is, um, they, are, they have been displayed in museums, mm -hmm. which are admired by the modern people. Mm -hmm. And uh, for you, I think, when you are little, mm -hmm. your mother, your father, well, would expect you to write very good Chinese characters, right? Mm -hmm. um, Do you know why? And the, some of the reason that they explained to me was like, well, you practice to write Chinese character in a very nice way. Mm -hmm. In the future, during examinations, when yes. teachers saw your paper, and especially when you're writing an article, they didn't know you when they're giving out the scores. They, they just can see the characters you've written. So mm -hmm. that is why they would judge you according to the your handwriting, your needs, exactly. and whether it is tidy neat, writing. whether it is beautiful, mm -hmm. and they will give me a higher marks at the same time while you're in the career field. Um, while you're writing a character, people will judge you somehow based on um, what kind whether of your character is neat or not. Mm -hmm. So on your uh, handwriting, if you have a very beautiful handwriting, very skillful, and you leave a very nice first impression to other people. Yes. So yeah, that's my experience. What about you? And even the teacher will give you higher scores, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. If you had the neat and uh, tidy, uh, beautiful handwriting. Well, that depends. If I have a very bad article, even though my handwriting is 100% beautiful, <laughs> I will not have a higher score. Oh. But, but yeah, that's one, that's, one yeah. thing about Chinese calligraphy, uh -huh. that why we're uh, Chinese so mm -hmm. value a lot. Uh -huh. And the second thing about the Chinese calligraphy, well, I will think about the content we uh -huh. write for these uh, characters, mm -hmm. uh, like the poetry. Mm -hmm. for uh, the poetry. We will write the poetry in the Chinese calligraphy. Mm -hmm. and some of the poetry will express the feelings of uh, the love for nature mm -hmm. and the joys of retirement. Mm -hmm. And some will say, um, uh, I will miss a friend or something like that. Ah, but would you give the uh, Chinese calligraphy you've written about those poetry as a gift to your friends. Of course. Yeah, I think that's very nice. And even, it. yes, and even including the spring couplets. Ah. We, every year, we write for the spring festival. Uh -huh. I will write it down for my friends and mm -hmm. they will paste it, the couplets on their doorway mm -hmm. and uh, what they will separate, what they, they will celebrate the spring uh -huh. festival. That was a real nice friend and a real nice gift. gift. Yes. <laughs> All right. Next time I'll write, write it for you. Oh, please do. I'll book it for 10 years. Okay. All right. So, talking about Chinese calligraphy, actually, uh, we touched upon some of the stories based on Chinese calligraphy history and also about the meaning to us. But how to write it? That is the next section. So, about how mm -hmm. to write it, we need to touch upon those tools we are using. So, what are the tools? What are the materials? basic materials for Chinese calligraphy writing. We have four treasures in, in Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. And um, actually I have, I, have bring, I have brought them all over here. Okay. 
All over the desk. All over the desk. You're so rich. You can afford all of those. Yeah, that actually, is why I'm so bad at it. I'm just too poor. They, so come I on, they can be they can be very cheap. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, but some of them are very expensive. Okay. But for uh, just everyday practice, they can be cheap. Okay. So where do we start? Which one is the first one? Mm hmm We'll start from this one. Oh, what is that? Is that the material that we're going to use to make sushi? Open it. <laughs> Open it. And this is a cover for the. Uh, the brush? The brush, yes. Oh, you have nice. a good guess. Nice. This really looks like those uh, materials we're going to make the sh sushi. This is wow. called the brush cover. cover. This is beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six. I told you. Six Chinese brushes. You can afford all of those. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay. And they are not new They're because not new. I have practiced with them uh, for years. So. Oh. Nice, but I've noticed they're in different shape, and some of them are bigger, and some of them are smaller. Yes, some of why? them are longer, and some yeah. of them are shorter. Yeah, why aren't they in the same shape? Why are there differences? Just look at the brush, the part, uh -huh. the brush part. Uh -huh. There are different lengths. Yeah, why and they are uh -huh. actually made of different materials, different uh -huh. hairs. Some of them Who's are hair? made of, <laughs> <laughs> like the Don't weasel. Use my hair. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Like oh, actually, they will use the hair, the uh -huh. the first um, first ah, hair of the new newborn baby, baby as a hair. souvenir. Yeah. They will make it into a brush. Yeah, we call it tai mao bi. Mm -hmm. So in Chinese, there's more like a souvenir to the newborn baby. Um, so they will cut a little bit of the newborn baby's hair or yes. collect some of the newborn baby's hair and then make it as the brush mao. Bi. As a souvenir. As a souvenir. They don't actually use it. it to write Chinese yeah. characters. Just as a souvenir, tai mao bi. Tai mao so do you have one? I don't have one. Hmm. Probably I was bored. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't know. But I, I was heard that a lot of people would make those kind of baby hair brush. Mm -hmm. That is very meaningful. I think it can be very but interesting. It may be interesting, but at the same time weird to look at your uh, time hair huh? <laughs> <laughs> when you were little, okay. when you were a baby. So where does all those hair come from? Uh, I think this one is. Uh, the hair is from a weasel tail, ah. and this one, I think it's from a, a lamb or a goat. Oh. Uh, this one, we, we, we don't have the explanation. Uh -huh. So, uh, so actually, they are, the hairs can uh -huh. be made uh, uh -huh. from the weasel's tail, uh -huh. the goat, the hair of the goat, and the rabbit. Uh -huh. But nowadays, we have the artificial fiber to uh, uh, take place of the animal's hair uh, because we, we have to protect animals. Exactly. Yes. So why do we need different kind of hairs? Why do we need those uh, different kinds? Okay. Uh, the hair from the whistle's tail, mm -hmm. they are hard or stiff. Uh, uh, it is good to write them mm, in different styles. Uh, Chinese calligraphy has uh, five different styles. Five different styles. Which I will explain yeah, to you we'll later. See it later. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And this one perhaps is good for writing another style, which uh -huh. is called the cleric style, uh -huh. because the hair from the lamp or gold, uh -huh. they are soft. Ah, so that helps in a different kind of style. Mm -hmm. ah. And this one is for writing the regular one. Uh -huh. Uh, which we called Kai Shu, ah. which is another style of Chinese calligraphy. But does it mean the characters? The small characters. Shu, they're smaller, right? They're smaller. Yeah. And we have the bigger ones to write uh -huh. the big characters. Uh huh. In that case, we need Vizzo's tail <laughs> or other kind of artificial hair, mm -hmm. like the biggest brush, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the brush part. So now, this is a mao bi brush or uh, yes. Chinese brush. Actually, I have just brought part of my Chinese brushes. Huh? Yes, collection. <laughs> uh -huh. I have a big collection at home. Wow. Uh, how, m how much hair have for you writing collected? different styles? <laughs> how much that hair that have is you necessary. Collected? That is okay. necessary for everyone to uh -huh. practice Chinese calligraphy. Ah, uh, but this wrapper is very interesting. Why didn't you just put this brush in the box? 
Rather than that, you put mm -hmm. it in the, this kind of bamboo wrapper. Why do you use this? The, yes, they are made of bamboo. Uh huh. And I think it's convenient for me to bring it everywhere, like um, to bring it here. But why didn't you put it in the box? I think it's an um, they will they will hurt the hair, ah, the brush, the brush okay. hair. So that is why to protect the brush. The and top of this it? way, ah. you will Roll ra it wrap it up. Uh huh. See. Ah. And uh, if I put it in my bag, uh -huh. it won't like the 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 brush won't come out. Ah. So you can protect the brush. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so which one is the next one? Oh, you can put the brush into the brush case. Oh, this is the brush case. Okay. Yes. Wow. Take, take. You can take the take brushes out. out. Okay. Yes. Which one are you going to use later? Uh, it depends. Oh, I need a big brush. You I definitely need one. one. <laughs> Actually, for uh -huh. a beginner, beginner like you, uh -huh. it is good to practice. Start. You You can start from the writing the big characters. The big characters. Yes. Oh, I have the big characters. Okay, I'll use the biggest one. Okay, I'll sit it here, right? Is it the right way? And okay. how about this one? Okay. And yes. Then, okay, these two. We're going to use these two later. brushes later. Okay, we'll wrap So it that up. is just one of the four treasures. Okay, one of the four treasures. Okay, what are the other three um, treasures we're going to use today? Take a look at this. What is that? It's a bowl. We're going to drink soup from it. <laughs> is it true? Because this is uh -huh. a Chinese vase, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is that? Porcelain. What is that? So usually this is a little different than so-called thing I saw, mm -hmm. but this is different. This is, this uh, is, uh, this uh, much is my more collection <laughs> of the ink stone. Beautiful. This is beautiful. This part is made of, of porcelain uh -huh. and the altar part uh -huh. is made from wood. Oh, nice. Look at these uh the car. Carve. Uh huh. What do you think it is? Uh oh it's a it's dragon. Yes. Is it a dragon? Yes. Wow. Yeah, and a dragon, a dragon is, is a very uh, auspicious yeah. animal or a symbol in Chinese culture. Uh huh. It's mm -hmm. chasing the jewelry, is it? The jewelry? Is right here? Oh maybe. You yeah. have a wild imagination. Oh yeah, I am. I'm the best. <laughs> Do you okay. like it? Yeah, it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's Especially elegant. this part. Yeah. yeah. Super beautiful. So how do we use this? Uh, I, I can show it later. Uh -huh. okay. But uh, this is my collection of the ink stone. Mm -hmm. um, actually, there are four famous ink stones in China. Okay. Uh, the other kinds uh, can be made from stone, surely, mm -hmm. and uh, mud. Mud? Yes. No, we're but this going one to is use different. The mud. Okay. No, no, no. This one is different. This uh -huh. one is a combination. Ah. The porcelain and the wood. Okay. Okay. So, are you going to put something inside of this vase yes, or something? Yes, we can try. Okay. You, you can try. This? Pour some ink into the container. All right. Let's pour some ink. Don't too in much. And to as you can see, mm -hmm. we have the ink in this bottle. Uh huh. And I think this is a very. Uh, it's a very common famous one. Uh -huh. Common and uh, famous ink. Okay. So how much have me, uh, are we going to use? Because is it using, enough? Uh, I think you can pour it a bit late, a bit more, a more. bit more. Okay. Wow. How? Okay. Okay. Enough. Do we pour water in it? Uh, for this one, we don't. Ah, uh, because but it's at home, okay. I can pour some water. Ah, in it. to save <laughs> some ink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. But don't too much. Okay. Think if economically. You too, if you t put too much water in it, mm -hmm. and you'll dilute the ink, ah. and later when you are writing, the ink will spread out in blotches. In that case, I will paint a picture. <laughs> you will become a right. painter. I will become a painter. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, you can never mess it up with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this uh, is the ink. Yeah, this is the ink. Actually, um, can you tell uh -huh. which, uh, which kind of a material it is made from? Made oh, um, I think it's hard for you to have a guess. Actually. Yeah, but I want to challenge mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Coffee? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like it smells coffee. It smells bad. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. That's, that's Probably dark chocolate. You know, many of my friends, what they uh -huh. will say, the ink smells bad. But yeah. for me, I will say it's so... Smells it smells good? good. Okay, something wrong it with your nose? It calm. <laughs> when I smell it, I 
smell the the, the smell of the ink. I, uh -huh. It made me calm. It make you calm. Peace, peaceful. Oh, yeah. so when you smell the durian, you <laughs> you're gonna be calm as that's well, another right? Thing, that's another thing. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it is not made uh -huh. from coffee. All right. So dark, uh, the used water in your family. Carbon. Oh, carbon. carbon. I thought. So oh. it is made from the ashes of uh, the burning pine trees. Ah. The most famous one is from the pine trees. Wow. So, how many trees does it take to make the ink? Mm. Don't too much. It's it's not too much. Okay, okay, fine. But it's so a very complicated uh, process. Wow. All right. So we it's have hard to explain here, but later uh -huh. you can find the video of how to make the ink. Uh -huh. Maybe on Facebook or you know some kind of a website. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have talked about three items right here: the ink and the mm -hmm. so-called ink stone and the brush. Is there a fourth one? Yes. That's what is the fourth one? Actually, the fourth uh -huh. one is. The paper. Oh, the paper. Yes. Um, is it like this paper? Like this This paper? Uh, it's not the average paper uh -huh. you're writing uh -huh. um, in modern times. Actually, What's the difference? we have the paper here. Mm -hmm. this, pa this kind of paper is usually for practicing Chinese calligraphy. Ah. I think it's uh, um, made of straw. Oh, so uh, that is why is this in the color of yellow, rather uh, than pure white? It can be white. It can yeah. be white. It can be white. This, this color is special, and uh, some kind of uh, special Chinese uh, calligraphy paper is made mm -hmm. of rice. Rice. Mm -hmm. So you can eat it after you <laughs> write. <laughs> and okay. Then you'll become knowledgeable. Oh yeah. <laughs> Eat all the characters. So this paper feels mm -hmm. thinner than the usual thinner, paper like yes. this one. Okay. All right. So after talking about different kind of items for all the audiences around the world, what kind of character would you like us to write? Let us know in the comments bar. And we will also check the comments on Facebook as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today we are here to have a calligraphy lesson. This is Yo Yo Wo broadcasting live from CRI Learn Chinese. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Weibo. Today I've invited my friend Crystal right here to give us a lesson on Chinese calligraphy. Let us know. Uh, what is uh, the, your favorite thing about Chinese calligraphy and what kind of character would you like us to write? Let us know in the How comments about, part. How um, about we check the answers from our viewers? Right, uh, right. This character. Oh, uh, I said the tattoo. Song, huh? from, yes, the <laughs> okay. It's a tattoo. It's a tattoo, so guess the meaning of this character. Some Let's see. One. I uh -huh. was still so wondering uh, why, why this kind of did he has this kind of a uh, tattoo on his body? Uh huh. All right, so right here there are a lot of comments uh, based on uh, all the items that we mentioned just now, and less people are guessing this character. Probably is because less people know the pronunciation and the meaning of this character. Maybe you can reveal the answer. What is that? Uh, let me first e explain this letter uh -huh. again. Uh -huh. um, it is made of two parts. Two parts. The upper part and the the bottom. lower part. Uh -huh. Yes. The upper part is called or pronounced as tong. Tong. It means follow. Follow. Mm -hmm. And the lower part is heart. pronounced as xin. Xin. Heart. It means xin. Mm -hmm. So tong xin. Oh. It's one ca Chinese character. Follow the heart. Follow the heart. So that's a good meaning. That's the. <laughs> yeah, you, you, div you divide it into two parts, and uh -huh. it's the literal meaning of those uh -huh. two characters. Uh huh. But when you combine them together, it it is pronounced as song. What does it mean? Um, it means you are a little bit uh, like a coward. Oh, <laughs> why you don't have the courage to do everything? Why would he tattoo this kind of character on so his it's body? A, it's bad, right? Yeah, nobody want to be a coward. <laughs> but maybe um, I can. I can say it's it's good on the other side uh -huh. because this person, he or she, is honest. Ah. She, she or he don't want it to be a coward. Maybe he. So used he tattooed to it on his body. He, he used to be a coward. Uh huh. And uh, in the future days, he want to be a brave man. Ah. Uh, so he tattooed this character on his body to remind himself. Anyway, if ah. you have, if you have the attempt. 
um, interest of um, making any tattoo of the Chinese characters on your body, um, you can ask Yo Yo <laughs> or ask us before you are doing it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, mm -hmm. you can follow your heart, but have a second thought before you tattoo it on your body. And right here we have a lot of uh, comments right here. Uh, Natalia says, what is the easy style? And right here, Christine Castillo says, Chinese people is going to hate me when they see my characters. They look like smashed mosquito on the wall. Actually, that is a very nice saying. <laughs> and I'd love to see mosquito smash on the wall. But thank you so much for letting us know. And right here, Bitong pen case. Yes, right here. Or brush case, Bitong Mao Bitong, because it's from Mao Bitong. And oh, uh, Nishira says, Wood and porcelain in Chinese. And Christine Castillo says, I want to practice with the ink, look more relaxing and artistic. At the moment, I only learn with pencil. But don't worry, you can learn with both brush and the pencil. And Romeo says, Mo zhi is ink from pine tree. Yeah, yes. oh wow, pine you know tree. a lot, Romeo. And right here, um, so a lot of people is watching our live show. Thank you so much. And Romeo Tan is saying, calligraphy paper is made of rice stock. Mm -hmm. So this one is made from straw. straw. And we have other kind of paper that was made uh, of rice. rice. Yep. You can eat it and be so knowledgeable after you <laughs> finish writing it. And Romeo says good afternoon from the uh, Philippines. Thank you so much. And Nashira says, can you write number four and five, 四和五? 就是大家可不可以写四和五,中文的四和五? All right, so later on we'll, we'll write try Chinese character. Yep. Um, a lot of people is watching the live show. Thank you for watching. Yep. And Lai Jello says, reading Chinese characters is the most difficult thing about learning Chinese. Well, Actually, after you practice well, writing some it. Some people <laughs> will agree with that. Uh -huh. mm, Chinese character is a little bit forbidding, but um, yep. I think through our lesson, the first step to uh, know, get to know about Chinese calligraphy, you'll think it in an easy way. Uh -huh. Well, that is very encouraging. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so to talk about that, actually we come to the next part. Uh, so we have Finally. talked about yes. the uh, different kind of materials that we are going to use. And just now we have also talked about the techniques. So what are the techniques? What are the styles that we're going to write Chinese now characters? Now it's also the time for Yo-Yo's show. Oh, my show. To write what? Chinese calligraphy. Come on. I have will write try. the first character? Have a try on holding the brush. Oh, wow, okay. That's the first step we should learn. What about, about I'm holding it thing. while you're holding it beside yes. me? Okay, so, so how to hold it? Okay, of course not like this. This is the basic idea of writing Chinese Like this, movie. okay. Actually, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Beginner's luck. Position. Yeah, beginner's luck. Okay, mm. like this one? You, uh, you you are you you get used to write in uh -huh. right hand by uh -huh. right hand right yep okay we'll put um, the thumb okay and the index index finger uh huh at this almost half halfway oh. of the handle okay half the brush way. handle okay and then the, the middle finger middle finger uh huh this distance yes. okay. And the ring finger uh -huh. behind the handle. Oh, behind it. Okay. Um, okay. And the little finger, just put in naturally. Okay. Next to the ring finger. Okay. Actually, uh, you have to leave a little space here. Oh. Just imagine you're holding an egg, but without letting it fall. Oh. Otherwise, you will break the leg, right? Holding break the egg. Oh. Yes, holding an egg. Okay. Wow, Leave that is interesting. Okay. And uh, we're uh, writing the Chinese characters using uh -huh. the wrist, uh -huh. the wrist, and the arm. Okay. And uh, we'll keep uh, keep the distance from the desk. Okay. Keep your arm relaxed. Mhm. Mm and this way, we can use the tip of the brush entirely. Okay. Otherwise. It's different from uh, uh, right. It's different from writing uh, in the Western 
writing tool, uh -huh. like this one, you're, ju you're just using one side of the tip. Okay. Right? You usually write it mm -hmm. this way. How different is with the brush? We'll have it here. Okay. And keep the position vertical ah. to the paper. Okay. Straight Always up. like this. Okay. Okay. Always like this. Okay. And then later on, you can can swirl, right? So, so it's it looks like I'm painting. No, painting's uh, because, similar. Yeah, we're using the brush and we we use it in different angles. It looks like we're painting. painting. Yeah, painting. It's it's similar. It's okay. similar for holding the painting brush. Uh -huh. But um, in writing the Chinese calligraphy, the characters were holding the brush this way. Okay. Um, you know, this is what the way you are paint the Chinese uh, paintings. Okay. But right. Let's go start it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what is that? So this if I write it in the wrong line. way, you'll use this one <laughs> to kick me? No. <laughs> this is called uh -huh. the paperweight. The paperweight. We use it to put a little pressure on the paper so uh, that it doesn't the move. paper won't go away. Okay. So we'll have... Yo-Yo will have her first try. Okay. Um, what shall we write? Four or five. Four or five. As the Only the numbers? Mm, no. Yes. <laughs> okay. Try. Okay. Let's try. All right. Let's try it. Just um, dip the ink. Dip the, dip the ink. ink. Okay. And... Oh, mm. it's dripping. It's dripping. A lot more. A lot more. Okay. Actually, the whole brush. Oh, the part. whole brush. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. I'm going to write a big four. Okay. There you go. Um, so make sure the ink. Uh huh. You don't load the ink too much, so you have to get rid of some. Of the okay. Ink. Okay. So just now, one of the audiences is asking us whether we can write a character four, four and five. Five. All right. Let's do it. Uh, where shall we start? Oh, no, don't, oh. don't make it still dripping. Yes. Okay. Don't make it dirty. Where shall we start? Right here? Um, we write the Chinese characters within a square. Okay. Right here, right? Yeah. Okay. Four, right? Oh, I know. Okay. I'm going to write it in this way. <laughs> Trying to remember, hold it still. Yes, remember the right mm. uh, technique. Peace. Inner peace. Okay. Keep stick. Distance from the desk. Okay. And always. Vertical. <gasps> it's tripping. It's tripping. <laughs> okay. And I always keep in a vertical position. Okay. Relax my shoulder. And right here, right four, four. Trying to write it slow. See? Yes. Such a nice start. Okay. That's nice. And then, um, yeah, the second stroke. Ooh. Yes. I didn't know I can Beautiful. do this well, right? Okay. You are a beginner, right? Yeah. Are you telling me a lie? About beginner's <laughs> luck. You know, beginner's okay. luck. Wow. Okay. You're a good teacher. Okay. And... How many strokes? One, One two, two, three, three four, four five. five. Okay. So this is four. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to write five. I'm um, just go with my heart, go with the flow. Okay. Of course, that's one very important thing about Chinese calligraphy. Okay. You always follow your heart, and uh, what you write will tell what kind of person you are. Oh, really? <laughs> Am I a nice yes. person? Um, yes, at this phase of the writing. Uh huh. But how? How would you decide See, that? It's tidy and neat. Ah, so that means I'm a very nice person. And I have a nice character. Maybe like cleaning things in ah, your house. Ah, so if I mess it up, that means I'm not tidy enough. Uh, that that means you need practice. Oh, uh, okay. So what about this teacher? So is it is it hard for you to write the um, characters? Not really. I'm just thinking about painting. painting. So it feels like I want to paint the character, mm -hmm. and in that way, I just go with the flow. Go with the flow. That, yeah, that's very important. Yep. And do you think it's hard to write without any support because uh, you have to keep the distance uh, from yeah. the waist to the desk? 
somehow it's just like while you're moving the brush, something very interesting is you somehow didn't know to which direction you're going to move the brush mm -hmm. because you're deciding it all at one time mm -hmm. and you didn't know um, there isn't any kind of a form for you to follow so you just follow the brush, follow your heart and then move the brush as you will. So I think that's the difficult part. You didn't know where to put the last straw. Uh, if we are going to have more lessons of Chinese calligraphy. <laughs> We're going to learn that, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. As a beginner, I think okay. it's very good for you to write Oh, thank you. Sentences. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do next? Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is interesting. Okay. And um, I, I noticed that uh -huh. you write the characters in this way. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Actually, so we, we are going to have um, a we different kind have, of kind. Yes, uh -huh. We have five different styles mm -hmm. of Chinese calligraphy, mm -hmm. and uh, you actually uh, write the characters just in one of them. Uh, what is this style? I think this is called Kai Shu, uh, or kai the regular shu. or okay. standard style. Uh -huh. and so this is Kai Shu, okay. Four. Other four. So, what are the other four? We okay. have the five scripts. The uh -huh. five styles. Okay. Actually, it tells um, the evolution of Chinese characters from the oracle, uh -huh. the uh, ancient Chinese writing. Uh -huh. The oracle one, seal style. Uh huh. What is that style? Oracle style. Uh huh. Oracle style, and then seal style. Uh huh. Oracle. Mm hmm. And um, you write the characters in the cattle's bone and the uh -huh. tortoise shell. Okay. Mm hmm. That is called the seal style. The seal style. And uh, then we have the clerical style. Mm -hmm. That begins from the Qing dynasty, I think. That uh -huh. is about 3,000, more than 3,000 years ago. Okay. Uh, when, uh, you know, we have the Emperor Qing Shi Huang. Uh -huh. And, like, in his dynasty. Uh -huh. And we have the clerks to mm -hmm. write everything about the... Um, government History. records uh -huh. Uh -huh. about taxes or mm -hmm. census or deeds, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So it's called clerical style. Mm -hmm. And then we have the semi-cursive mm -hmm. or walking style. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. This one is called zhuan shu. Ah. This is called bi shu. And this is called qing shu, mm -hmm. walking style. Mm -hmm. Semi-cursive. Mm -hmm. And this is called Tang Shu, mm -hmm. cursive or the rounding style. Mm -hmm. Actually, wow. it's very interesting to have this, those two names for rounding to name style. the uh -huh. different styles. Uh -huh. But is there the any kind of uh, examples mm -hmm. that you can give us, mm -hmm. like how to write it and what what are the styles? Could you give us a vivid picture? Actually, I have prepared. Some pictures. Characters. Oh, nice. To show the different styles. Uh huh. Well, take a look. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This one. What is this style? And actually, can have this. Okay. The different styles. Uh huh. W what is that style? This is um, the running style. Uh huh. The characters, they are actually run together ah. and you write this character in a very um, rapid speed mm -hmm. looks like you're running you're <laughs> following your heart oh yeah and we have this one uh-huh Oh, that it's is the same a character it's that the same is character. an important character we will talk about that later okay it's the same character, character, but in uh -huh. different styles. In different style, it looks like it's changing. Yes. Okay, it's changing all together. Okay, wow. Okay. And, and this is the. Um, let me see. The walking style. Mm -hmm. So this one, it's very hard to tell mm -hmm. which character is this, but for this one, you can tell. Yep. But some of the strokes, mm -hmm. they run together. Mm hmm. Oh, that is another one. This and is mm -hmm. the regular style, the standard style. The standard one. You have ah, written. the standard one. Okay. Mm 
And the other one is, oh, this one. Can you tell uh, which style is this? What kind of style is this? Maybe the first one? It's actually the cleric style. Oh. This There's one looks like an mm -hmm. Asian style. There's is it? One very important character uh, of this style. Uh huh. Take a look at the end of this stroke. Okay. The horizontal stroke. Uh huh. At the end, it always upward a little bit. The tilt. Ah, uh, oh, so that is why. Okay. That is very important one characteristic of the cleric style. Okay. And this one. Wow, that is beautiful. It looks like a gate. Yes. It's the seal style. Ah, uh, this is the first one. Okay. Wow, this one looks very. Um, I would say it looks like ancient people write it. But nowadays we hardly have mm -hmm. this kind of style, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Chinese characters um, in the oracle times, mm -hmm. it is um, pictograms. It is pictograms. Mm -hmm. So you can see the simplified um, images of the objects. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, the gate, uh -huh. two persons, mm -hmm. right under the roof, mm -hmm. two persons. So you can tell our viewers about this character. Well, oh, what does it mean? This is two and nowadays uh, later on we're going to learn how to write the word liang hui two sessions because uh, nowadays the uh, Chinese two sessions the most important meetings uh, is going on and it's opened on March the 4th and that is why today we're going to learn this character later on we're going to write it as a word as a word liang hui the two sessions while well, talking about that actually um, some people might ask what are the two sessions actually the meetings uh, in um, encompasses two important bodies the first one is the legislative national people's congress which is also called NPC and the other one is CPPCC, the Chinese Political Consultative, Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, or CPPCC. So that is why today we are going to learn the important word Liang Hui, two sessions. And also we are going to learn some of the key topics, some of the words that were in the headlines about the topics that people are going to discuss during the two sessions. The first one is senior care, Yang Lao, Yang Lao, and the next one is medical service, Yi Liao, Yi Liao. So basically today we're going to learn different kind of uh, words and how to write it. So you can also pick your favorite word. Probably if we have enough time, we'll write it for you guys. All right. So if you are interested, feel free to leave a comment right here on Facebook, YouTube, and Weibo. We're going to answer your questions immediately. And right here we are also seeing a lot more um, comments. Responses. Yeah. Right, right here. Um, <laughs> Christine Castillo says, Crystal, what is the meaning if I write the characters very big and with thick lines? What does that mean? Uh, if you write a word very big, it will show it has what kind of style. Wow, it's like fortune telling. He um, writes very big, what does that mean? He's energetic. Energetic? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so it just means you're very energetic, huh? You're a very energetic person, very vivacious person. Maybe not very detailed. Ah, very detail-oriented person. Yes. And Zach says, "Excellent. Thank you so much." Okay. And Nashira says, "Is it a must to write inside small boxes, a rule or something?" That is, is it that we must write in these small boxes? Or can we write in other places? I think you'd better write the characters inside the square. Otherwise, um, it is not beautiful. Ah, you'd better write the characters inside the square. Otherwise, um, it is not beautiful. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so, so, we are best to write in such a square box, so that it will look more beautiful. That's what the teacher just told us. Yes. Especially as a beginner, as you know. As a beginner, it will look more beautiful. Because um, that's very important. Because our uh -huh. Chinese characters, uh, they are block-like symbols. Ah. They have different parts, ah. so writing in this kind of square, uh -huh. we can know um, Where how to write mm -hmm. one part of the character here, mm -hmm. how to write the other part here. Ah, so this helps so, us. 
So from okay. the entire picture, from the whole ah, picture, it looks okay. beautiful. Okay, so this will help us while writing the character and depend on how we practice at the same time about where to put the stroke. Okay, and right here we have a lot more comments. Uh, Mac Malino says, it is hard for me to read the running style. Yes. Wow, that is Actually, difficult for everybody. It is the same difficult for me. Yep. And Christine Castillo says, now I know I'm not writing bad my characters. I only have a different style. Yes. Oh, yes, that is true. That is you true. You just follow your heart and yep. uh, write the characters. And the characters can tell what kind of personality you have. Uh, and sometimes don't worry that much. You can just practice, mm -hmm. and practice makes perfect. So don't worry about that. And to talk about different kind of two style, sessions. yeah, the two sessions. We, con we continue the other character. Yep. Actually, uh, Liao Hui is two. Two uh, characters. Two characters. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the second character is Hui meeting, Hui meeting, and let's take a look at different kind of styles. For this character, all oh, right. Five styles. Okay. So now you have you have uh, your experiences in telling. Oh, yeah, I have styles, right? no experiences in telling this. Try, try, try. <laughs> I would not. I would not uh, have a wild guess, but I will pick out one of my favorite styles. Okay. I will pick out one of my favorite style. Okay. Let me see. Uh, those are different styles. While well, we write the character of. Wait, and this is the basic style. I would choose my favorite style as this <laughs> one, this new one. Why do you like this? You like this, right? I don't right? know. It's just like this has a different connotation and a whole new picture for me because it looks like a artistic mm -hmm. writing and picture. Mm -hmm. I will actually hunt this, this picture in my hallway. This is how ancient people write Chinese characters. This yeah. is called the seal style. The seal style, the first actually, one. Actually, yeah. actually evolved from the characters on the oracle. Oh. Oracle bones. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Um, so Let's this see. actually shows how we invent the characters, mm -hmm. and later on it involves when within different kind of uh, evolution. And for this one, how do you explain it? Like while we are writing a character like this one, the seal style. Yes, we have stories. Uh huh. Just see. When Hui means uh -huh. um, meeting, meetings, gathering, for many there are people. lots of people, yeah. right? At uh -huh. least three. Uh -huh. So we have three uh -huh. viewers, and this is the lecture hall. Uh -huh. This is the uh, roof the of roof. the room. Uh -huh. This is the meeting room, uh -huh. right? You can regard this as the meeting room, and this is the hall. The participants. The, yes, the uh -huh. participants. Uh -huh. And this may be uh, the one who chaired the meeting, uh -huh. hosts the meeting, and anchors. Interesting, interesting. So that is why I like the seal style. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I really like this one. It looks very artistic. So it is, e it is easy to recognize this one. Yeah. So, so in that case, characters yeah. are not so hard to recognize. Exactly. Right? So in that case, why do we evolve it? Why do we change it into the modern style? You can see for um, mm -hmm. other ones. The other one. Like... The very complicated one. This is so the regular style. Yeah. The standard style. Uh huh. Uh, this one is more close. Is it, it is closer to the modern version. Ah. Our people write. Mm hmm This is the ancient one. I still prefer this one. <laughs> okay. This is beautiful. You can try to write it down. I can write you it can down. Try. Okay. All right. Let's try it together. Okay. Um. You can have. Your, yeah, your brush is right here. Let's try to write the seal style of the character meeting. Yes. Okay. And while you are writing, uh -huh. I have, I have to point out the uh -huh. writing rules. The writing for rules. the Chinese characters. Oh, please, please. Okay. As you can see, uh huh. The upper part, the middle part, and the lower part. Okay. We always start writing the Chinese characters from from the top. The top. From okay. top to bottom. Okay. Right, the first one. Okay. Like this. I'll paint. You are good at painting. I'm oh Just I follow your heart. I wish to be a painter. Okay. So this is the roof. Roof. The roof. Okay. Okay. So the roof of the meeting room. The roof. Okay. And then the hall. Oh, we have the other one. The other the one. The roof. 
The room. The room. Yes. Okay. Yeah, right now room. I'm painting the room. Okay. The first room. Okay. The first room. And three people. Three people. Wow. As the the anchors. Hub. Anchors or hosts. For the and meeting. Then and then and then the other room. The other room. Sitting the viewers. Okay. Participants. Three participants. Okay. And and the floor. Yes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So this is the seal writing, the seal style for the character meeting. Mm Hui. -hmm. Hui. Wow, this is beautiful. Well, it really feels like I'm painting. Yes. We yeah. can have it displayed in some kind of museum. Oh. Maybe in the future. Oh. <laughs> Please trust me. I'll okay. put it in a time capsule. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is really fun. Wow. And it feels different mm -hmm. uh, compared with while I was writing with this kind of pen. Because with a pen, uh, actually you can just write it in a very small area. And you're writing with a brush, you can actually paint it yes. in a bigger area. That's why we're holding, always hold the brush. I have to put emphasis here. Uh -huh. You always hold the brush this way, uh -huh. vertical to the vertical. paper, uh. perpendicular to the paper. And uh. then you can use the entire tip of the brush. Oh, interesting. Wow. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So just now we've also talked about the uh, different topics and the keywords for the two sessions. Um, right now, probably we can practice mm -hmm. different kind of uh, words as well. Uh, so one of the key points for this year's two sessions could be the senior care, senior care, yang lao, yang lao. And do we have different kind of characters and different styles for those words? Yes. And um, now uh -huh. we can introduce the evolution of Chinese oh, characters. Oh, when we talk about the seal style and all the evolution, okay, so here is the period of time when we have different kind of style. That is the evolution of the characters. This is the oracle Ah, this style. is the first one, okay. The seal style. The seal style. Oh, this is beautiful. So th they have different characters, actually. Uh-huh. Different, uh, it's the same character, but oh. um, different times. Wow, uh, this one is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's the image, simplified image of the object. Uh huh. So can you guess what it is? It looks like the ghost horn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? Yes. This is really pretty. And this is the clerical one, uh -huh. clerical style. Uh huh. And this is the standard or regular style. Okay. And this is the modern version. Ah, uh, simplified one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this one is my favorite one. Or this one. I think they're very artistic. Mm -hmm. It's very beautiful. So, uh, how, how ca can you? There are stories for this character. There are stories as well. Like just like you see. Uh huh. And these is like a goat. It's a goat. Okay. Mm -hmm. The goat. Uh -huh. And this is like a person. Oh, a person holding the whip. Oh, so yeah, a shepherd. Shepherd, and it is somehow related to the meaning of this word of this character, mm -hmm. right? This character uh, is pronounced as Yang. Yang, okay. So, so by sh uh, by um, raising uh -huh. the goat, uh -huh. you will have enough supplies of land, ah. food. Ah, you can support right? a family. Yes. Ah, so support a family is the word Yang. Mm -hmm. Ah, to support. Okay, wow. That is really beautiful. I like this character. I like this one. And um, especially this one as well. The seal character. Yes, actually you have tried this one. Mm -hmm. How about uh, we... Can you try to write it? Which if one? If you want to write it. Which one? Um, you have tried this one. How about this one? This the, one. The seal one. Oh, the, the seal, seal one. Style. Oh, wow. That is a difficult one. That is very difficult. What about you show us how to write it? I think we can practice together. Okay. Yeah, let's do it together. Okay. Just there are um, some rules. Okay. You all you should always remember. Okay. So, put the brush. Put the brush into the ink. Okay. Let's do and this don't together. Don't load too much. Okay. Don't load it too much. Okay. 
And all right. Always finish. Always finish the character in one slow movement. Okay. Which one are we writing? Movement. This one, Don't right? Stop. This one. How about this one? This one. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, uh, let me see. That's an important lesson for uh, calligraphy practicers. Okay. Because、um, they will start practicing Chinese calligraphy from a very young age.、Mm-hmm. Um, just、um, first, they will copy the character for years, and、uh. then they will have their own style. They、uh. have to know how the Chinese character is structured.、Uh, to、mm-hmm. follow first, and then you can practice to on your own. To know the strokes.、Uh. To get familiar what familiarized with the strokes. Okay. How did he? Well, you can take a look、uh, carefully at first. Wow. Okay, I would draw a picture. I would simply draw、we'll、a picture.、Start. Okay. Pusher. Put a little pressure. Okay. Oh, so this one is thicker. Lift. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Always in one continuous slow movement. Have you finished? No.、Nope. <laughs> I'm trying to take a closer look. Okay. I think you'll finish first. Really? Oh, you think it right? Okay. Finished. Oh, you write it beautifully. You see, that is the beginner. <laughs> the, the difference is between the beginner and the veteran. Wow. No, actually, I'm a beginner too. For、uh, I think we're <laughs> we're writing two、Real? different characters. Oh really? Yeah, we're writing two different characters. Me is just like this one is very you know rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm a beginner as you because you have to know how to、uh-huh. write the strokes.、Uh. Chinese characters、um, have been composed of lots of strokes. Ah,、uh, so I need to practice the strokes and follow the rules, and then I will know the. Whole structure, and、like、then I can practice. Okay, like the first、uh, stroke. Okay, the horizontal stroke. Okay. Okay, write it here. Me. Okay. Oh. Raise. Raise. Um. Pressure down. Pressure down. And swirl the tip of the brush. Raise. And pressure down. Raise. Ah, so you actually moved the stroke. Okay, so you actually moved it. That is why、It's、while I was writing it, yeah. yeah, that is why while I was writing it, you can directly see the sharp angle, and this one is not. Ah, so actually like this, and then like this. Yes. Ah. But you can do it slower. Slower. Okay. Pressure. Pressure. And raise. And raise. Actually,、um, in the middle, it's a、uh, it's thinner. Oh, it's thinner. Okay. And the two ends, they are thicker. Ah. Raise and slower like this, and raise and like this. Oh, it looks different.、Mm-hmm. This one looks beautiful. Okay. See, you're improving. Ah, interesting. Wow. Actually, Now I'm interested in the trace the of the. A trace of this is like this. Ah.、Uh. Oh. Okay. Like this, and then like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like this. We can have a try. I like this. <laughs> oh, you are you are writing the walking style or、yeah. the running style. The running style. The strokes、ah. can run together, or the characters can run together. Wow. 
Okay, the second stroke. Yes. Okay. Well, you can practice later. And the second stroke is uh, the vertical stroke. Vertical one? Okay. Oh, this one, you didn't do the coming back. Mm -hmm. You didn't, okay. This. Like this. Yes, this is oh, nice. Okay, cool. All right. And the third one is? Third one. It is called hook. The hook. Actually, it has the same structure here. Okay. It looks like the hook we're used to fishing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The fishing hook. Yep. Hook. The bait. Okay. Uh, let's do it here. Okay. Let's do a stroke and then going on. Right down and then uh, yeah. Stop. Stop there. I uh, stop there. And yes, go back a little go bit. Go back for a little bit. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is a hook. Yeah, and this is your it. hook. I will have two fish. <laughs> okay. Uh, your hook is bigger than mine. Yeah, I want bigger fish. I like this. There you go. And right there. Yes. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Much better. But right okay. here it has the fruit. <laughs> what about the? We're doing the fourth one, right? Okay. What is it? It's called left slant. Okay. Some basic strokes. Basic We're strokes. We're learning some basic strokes. So we have to practice the basic stroke yes. first. Okay. The left slant. Uh huh. Wow, this is beautiful. I noticed something while mm. you're writing the calligraphy. You're doing it in a slow mode. Yes. You're writing it slowly. Is it a must? Um, I think for a beginner like uh -huh. me or Yo Yo, I, we I have am. to practice this way. Uh -huh. Make it in a one slow and continuous movement. So usually it's slower. And you, when you when you have become a master of Chinese calligraphy, uh -huh. especially when you are doing the Roman style, you can write it. Just, just write it in a fast way. Yes. Okay, wow. All right. So, while I was write, <laughs> writing it, I feel like I was holding my breath. Mm -hmm. I was like holding like my breath. Like you're doing Qigong, right? Exactly, like Tai Chi. Yeah, tai you know, chi. You're, you're having your own world or soak it in, and suddenly you're very writing calm it, you're calm, and peaceful. inner peace. Wow. So I think that's the charm why someone, when they want to practice Chinese calligraphy, they have a they have a special um, purpose. Yes. They have a special purpose because they want to practice how to keep their inner peace. Yeah, I think this is really helpful. Okay, I'll have this one. Nothing like this. The left slant. Left Some basic one. strokes about Chinese calligraphy. Actually, this is the fourth or fifth one. Oh, you are a good painter. Oh, thank you. I love it. I love painting, but I think this is similar. But this one is even more interesting and different compared with painting because this one has the rules. Mm -hmm. You need to Hope follow the right, rules. Yeah. Like while you're doing this hook, mm -hmm. you have to stop right there. Yes. And you have to write it back. Yes. But while you're painting, Mm -hmm. You can just paint and follow your heart, whatever kind of movement it's you're making. Spontaneous. Yes, you can just change it, but this one has the rules. Okay. Some more strokes. Okay. This is the left slant, and okay. then we're doing the, the right, right one. Slant. Okay. See, I should have the paper weight. Uh. I've no right noticed while you're writing this, you somehow have put your strength on the brush. On the brush. And to just... Although the brush mm -hmm. part, the hair uh -huh. is soft, but you'll see the power in it. You can right? see. Exactly. 
Um, that is why in Chinese idiom we have a saying to call mm -hmm. Li Tou Zhi Bei. Yeah. So from the <laughs> from the back you can see the shape of the ink. Mm -hmm. That means you're writing it in a very um, powerful, powerful, way. powerful way. You have the strength to put it in the character while you're writing the Chinese calligraphy. Wow. This is interesting. Okay. Flow. Imagine the inner peace in you. Yes. Yes, turn. Oh, yes. Okay. Look like an eggplant. <laughs> you are hungry. You are yeah. hungry. It's near dinner time. Okay. Wow. Uh, what's the next one? Maybe that's enough. We'll, we'll, let, we'll mm -hmm. leave the two for okay. the rest of the time. So we talk about yang lao, right? Yes. So this one is yang, to raise or to support the family. And what about lao? Okay. Show the audience. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay. This is your favorite one, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, The wow. oracle. It looks like a grandpa. The oracle, the old grandpa. Uh-huh. And he can, he's so old. Uh-huh. He, he needs some help uh -huh. uh, to work well. This mm -hmm. is the walking stick. Oh, the stick. He's holding okay. in his hand. Wow, this is really vivid. <laughs> Just look at this. Ah. So that is how the character is invented. Yes. Okay. Wow. The oracle one. The from the oracle bones. Uh huh. The old man. The old the man. Walking stick. Ah, holding the stick right over there. Okay. And then it gradually evolved. Like the this seal one. one. Uh huh. The seal one. Uh huh. And the clerical one. Uh huh. Still, it has some of the picture uh -huh. or images there, right? Yep. And then this is the regular or standard ah, version. Ah, okay. So this is how the character is involved. It is really interesting. Oh, wow. You can, you, it's easy for you to remember, right? Yeah, it is really easy to remember. And I think this is a great part for our audiences around the world. If you're not so familiar with the Chinese characters, probably you can start right here. This is not a lesson for you to simply learn how yeah. to write Chinese calligraphy. It is a... A a opportunity, door, a an opportunity or a door or window for you to learn how the Chinese character is involved and how it is invented right here from this oracle one. And it is from really interesting. Maybe from this way, uh, you'll, oh, yeah. you'll see Chinese characters are not so hard to learn. Exactly. And it, is, it can be interesting no matter whether you can remember it or not. It doesn't matter. You can just learn the characters or learn the story. Another practice. Okay, another one. What is Another this one? Practice. Okay. It's called, it's, it's pronounced as jiao. Jiao. And this is the modern version. Uh -huh. And this is the clerical version. And uh -huh. this is the seal version. Uh huh. And this is the oracle bone. What is uh. right, written in the oracle bone? Ah, it looks like a. What, what's the story? It looks like I'm a to teacher. Tell the story. <laughs> it looks yes. like that a student is right here, and there's a teacher who is going to teach something. Let me see. Uh, maybe this, this can be the student. Yeah, so three students, and right over here, this one is the teacher. That two crosses. Yeah, maybe two crosses. Maybe he answered the wrong questions. Yeah, exactly. And this is the teacher. The teacher holding the stick, <laughs> pointing to the blackboard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have, this is a great you way. You have the wrong answers. Come on. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is very easy to remember the character and the strokes. I think yeah. it's a great way. We have the picture here. Ah. Oh, so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is how you remember it. So actually this teacher is holding a stick and here is a student and he answered two questions in the wrong way and right now this is the punishment. This is the punishment. Oh, maybe it's not the punishment. Just or it's um, just like um, pointing um, to the blackboard. To the, yes. Yeah. Wow, this is a great way to remember interesting, it. Interesting, right? Yeah, very interesting. That's jiao. Jiao. Ah, jiao xue. Jiao xue. Ah. Jiao shu. Interesting. Jiao shu. Okay. Wow, great. Okay, what is the next character? Okay. Oh, this one. Ah, yu. Okay, so how do you explain this <laughs> oracle one? How do Tell you explain it? Wow, this is a little different. Um, Tell the story. I think this is much more easy to explain <laughs> okay. right here. Because it looks like a light. light? There's a light yes. ball. It's Reasonable. a light ball. Yeah. It makes and 
Yeah, it is hanging on the roof, while somebody probably underneath it is writing or reading. So yu is more like the similar、um, meaning as jiao. It's、ah. like people are being nurtured. It, yeah, it's good for you to imagine it this know, way. I don't know. Like yeah,、uh, I have a better story. Uh huh. What is that? To tell. Okay. Okay. How about this? Ah, this yang is, yu the yu.、Uh, uh, Uh, yes, this、uh-huh. character is pronounced as Yu. Uh-huh. Uh huh. This is the woman. Uh huh. Maybe she has just given birth to a baby. Okay. And so this is the head of the baby. But <laughs> I think this is the uh, uh, the picture is in a wrong way. Okay. He she just given birth to a baby. So、uh-huh. the baby's head. This is the baby's head. Oh. So this is the lady. Okay. The woman. Okay. And then.、Um, This is some,、uh, you know, liquid. Ah,、uh, okay. So the the lady just given birth to a、uh, baby, so、uh-huh. she's going going to be a mother, and、uh-huh. she teaches everything. Going to raise him. Uh huh. Oh wow. Okay. Skills. Yes. Oh,、That's、in that、cute. case, yeah. In that case, this looks like a little baby,、mm. pat down. But your imagination、yeah. is good. Your explanation is also oh, good. Oh, all good. Very creative. It's good. Okay, so、uh, are there characters that you want us to practice? How about this one? Okay, I think it's meaningful. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So for all the audiences, if you're interested, feel free to join us in the comments part. You can also、um, learn to write the characters together with us, or you can、uh, click right here to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Weibo.、Uh, you can also ask any questions to Crystal and me. And right here、um, we are、yes. going to write the character of Yu. Yu. We have learned the four, or actually six characters. Oh yeah. The first one is Liang. Yeah, Liang Hui's Liang. The second one is Hui. Hui. Liang Hui. Liang Hui. And Yang. Yang. And then Lao. Yang Lao. And Jiao Yu. Jiao Yu. Yep. There you go, teacher. Thank you. And right here. Are you going to write the character of Yu? So it has the basic strokes we have just practiced. Okay. Right. So which one are we going to write? This There's one another or basic this one? stroke. There's、okay. another basic stroke. Okay. It's called dots. The dots. We first okay.、Uh, the end. Have a practice about this one. Okay. The stroke. Right.、Dots. Oh. Okay. Uh, you. First, put it here, and then put、Swirl、it out. Swirl the tip of the brush. Okay. Oh, you have to make it around. Around. Yes. Oh, okay. To make it around, like this. Ah, Is better. Is it round enough? Better. Okay. Better. Actually, have this movement. Ah.、Nice. Oh, it、Swirl. looks like a drop of water. Yes. Okay. A drop of water. That's very vivid. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, maybe I can、uh, make it up for you. Okay. Ah. Let me try another one. Like this. And this. Uh. uh Why、yes. doesn't it close? Okay. Maybe I can hold your hand. That's the way、um, I learned Chinese calligraphy. Oh, when please. When I was taught by my、oh, calligraphy、please. teacher. Please. Okay. All right. Okay. There you go.、Uh, my teacher will hold my hand. Uh huh. This way, and let me follow his power. How do you close it? Okay. Oh, you didn't actually close it. You just go back from the same directions.、Mm. Actually,、uh, uh-huh. it is closed. Ah,、uh, let me see. Because I、By、tried to, you know, have a circle. By going back, yes. Yeah. Swirl the tip of the brush. Turn a little bit. Yes. Yes. Go upward. Yes. Oh yeah. That's the Finally. Okay. Great. Great. A、so、great teacher. Welcome to new. Yep. Second stroke. Always. When、uh-huh. you are writing the Chinese characters from top to bottom,、uh-huh. right? That's the writing rule. Okay. So I continue like this. Okay. The horizontal stroke. T- 
turn a little bit, mm -hmm. and then lift a little bit, and then pressure a little bit, and lift. Yes. Oh, that's a long one. Okay. We're writing this character in clerical style. Okay. Actually, uh, the character, the characteristics of this style, for the especially for the horizontal mm -hmm. stroke, it has the head of the animal. I just told you. At the oh. Beginning. Okay. Is it good? Is it good? Should mm -hmm. we put it like a bit to the left? Shall I? How, how can you finish the character <laughs> here? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. We'll try another one Actually, right here. This style is a kind of flat. Ah. And uh, at the end, uh -huh. the horizontal stroke uh -huh. has a character ha has the characteristics of a swallow's and tail. Ah. Okay. Let's try right here. Nice. And the horizontal stroke. Always from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Yes, the tail of a swallow. Okay. Oh, the, the tail, tail of a swallow. swallow. Nice. Okay. okay. Yes. Stop there. Yes. Okay. Wow. I just hold my breath for it. Like you're practicing Tai Chi. Oh yeah. I hope. Uh, I think there should be some music of Tai Chi oh. played as a background. That's true. How about we do it next time? Yep. Sure. Oh, this is very interesting. There's no hook. No hook. Why not? Because we're writing the clerical style. For the uh, regular or standard style, we have okay. a hook. Okay. Nice. Then two horizontal strokes. Okay. Okay. Right. Nice. Oh, okay. Wow, so from the whole procedure while I was writing it, I feel like I have the inner piece. You know, slowly Finally. and steady and hold the brush in the right way. I think about what is the next procedure. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a really good way to practice my, you know, somehow my character at the same time, endurance, persistence. So it is really helpful. Okay. I think this is more than calligraphy. This is an art. I'm so glad. Wow. I'm so glad you have finally wow. Think about Glimpse the, the uh, yeah. essence of Chinese calligraphy. Wow, this is really interesting. So uh, yes, actually I may have a little time to introduce the rest of the, you know, Exactly. Materials. What are those? What are those? Uh, Show us. These are the writing ink uh, paste. Uh-huh. When you finish uh, writing uh -huh. a piece of work, then okay. you have the seal, then uh, maybe uh, your name has been inscripted on the stone. Nice. It's called the seal. The seal. Ink zhang. Ink zhang. Okay. And then put it into the ink paste. Okay. You can put it here. Maybe that's one. Mm -hmm. So this is the seal, and this is the seal the paste. Red, the red seal paste. Uh -huh. We have different colors. This is more like a signature, right? Yes. Okay. When you finish a piece of work, uh -huh. you'll put your name 
at the end of the characters, uh -huh. the work. Okay. That means uh, you are the writer of this. Wow, like Picasso. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, it's not not enough. Obvious. Okay. So well, since when did you start writing Chinese calligraphy? Ah, uh, since I was six years old. Okay, so and I have to practice. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Um, and why do you like it so much? Uh, I think for the present time, I like it better than uh -huh. when I did it when I was young. Why? Because at that time, I, I don't know too many Chinese characters. Uh. I have to get to know more Chinese characters mm -hmm. in order to write um, or in order to like the Chinese calligraphy. Uh. But uh, I think it's a, also a good process, a good method for you to learn the Chinese characters, just like um, the oracle one we just did. Yeah. It has special meaning. That was very interesting. And it's very, oh wait, do we have to show? Yes. <laughs> so this is the seal. It's not up. This is the seal. It's not too obvious. We but need more paste or maybe more ink. But this is beautiful. Like this is the whole picture. You have the Chinese calligraphy and also you have the seal paste right over here. You have the stamp or the seal right mm -hmm. here. So this is the whole picture. Wow. This is the black one. This is a black one. So what's the difference between the black one and the red one? I think you put the different colors. Um, onto different kind of, uh, you know, this is yellow. The yep. paper is yellow. Uh huh. And so maybe you can put it, uh, the black one onto uh -huh. the white paper. So it depends on the color of the paper. Or uh, uh -huh. according to your mood. Ah, interesting. Yeah. That is really interesting. And different so seals. Yeah, we have different kind of seals. Um, which is your favorite seal? Could you shortly introduce it to us? Uh, maybe this one. This one. It hasn't been. Uh, Inscripted, yes. Uh huh. I will put um, um, the characters I like. Uh huh. Um, this one has been followed me since I practiced pra uh, Chinese calligraphy. Uh huh. Um, like uh, when I was seven or eight years old. Oh wow. So while you started mm -hmm. learning Chinese calligraphy, you have to have your own stamp and seal, right? Yes. Okay. Well, wow. for audiences who want to practice Chinese calligraphy, probably you can start from there. You can practice little by little all different kind of strokes, or you can directly start to make your own seal. So I think those are the mm -hmm. interesting part of today's live stream. But either way, I think it is more like a window or a door or an opportunity for you to know more about Chinese calligraphy, the history of it, the story of it. So today is just an important yeah an interesting way for you to get familiar with the history of Chinese calligraphy. I hope it helps. And thank you so much for watching. We always have limited time. But if you're interested, you can also leave a comment on Facebook, YouTube, and Weibo. And so we want to say thank you to my friend, Crystal. Thank you for your important lesson. Thank you for inviting. I hope we can have a second lesson of, of Chinese course. calligraphy. Oh, of course, I'd like to. And this is really an interesting experience for myself as well. Oh, and many stories. That, that is very, very memorable experience for me and also great to know a lot of stories right here. And for all the audiences, thank you so much for tuning in and we wish to see you next time. Bye-bye.